Hello, the Restless Earth is a quest offered by Armo Thunderhorn. What brings you? He's here? standing in Bloodhoof Village, right by the Totem Pole. And if we accept that quest, Go we east. will then need to head Farewell. to your left, heading west, towards the hills on the west hand side. The easiest way to get to where we need to go is to swim across the lake. So we're going to go straight towards the lake. You can go around the lake, but you're more likely to run into various mobs. Now when we get to the lake, you'll be able to see where it is that we're going. In fact, you can just about see it there. If we look up at the, uh, the hills, um, which I think be come between Mulgore and Feralis, uh, you'll see that just over here we've got um, sort of an indented area. Um, and this is where we're heading. Um, that's where the spirits are, which we need to calm. And we're going to calm those spirits by playing the drums. So we'll see just how good our drumming is. It's not going to calm all of them. Uh, we're going to find some of them don't like our playing. Um, we're not that good at playing the drums, I would imagine. So uh, you will find that some of them will attack you, some will be calmed. Uh, but you want a total of six altogether. Then there has been some talk on forums of possibly the level seven spirits uh, being easier to calm than the level six is, or more successful rather. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think it matters whether you go for the level sixes or the level sevens. Uh, my character here is a level six, so he should be able to do this quest with no problem at all. There's Thunder Bluff, of course, on the right-hand side. Following the uh, initial quests for the Torin character, we haven't yet got to Thunder Bluff. We've still got a few quests left to go in Bloodhoof Village. So here we are. We can see the um, the area that we're going to. It's got these uh, wooden scaffolding uh, braces or frames around the inside of this area. Uh, there is actually, um, if you want to take a slightly less direct route, there is a path which goes all the way from the main path between Bloodhoof Village and Thunderbluff. If I turn around you can see there's Bloodhoof Village on our right, there's the path that goes across the bridge and all the way to Thunderbluff and there is a path, you can see it just down that little dirt track that comes up past the fallen log um, past this fallen log and all the way up into uh, Bale Dun dig site. And of course the quests have changed here. Um, the dwarves I think that used to be here are no longer. So all we need to do is come up here, find the stone spirits, uh, most of whom appear to have been killed. It's another one of those starting zone areas where there's a a lot of popularity but to do this we simply select a stone spirit and in our uh, inventory there will be the drum of the soothed earth you can drag that onto your action bar and then simply play that whilst selecting one of the agitated earth spirits now on this occasion that earth spirit went green and has despawned which means that our drumming did soothe it Let's try this one. So click on it, click on the drums. Yeah, we're successful with that one as well. So let's carry on. Uh, sometimes we're going to find one of these uh, will turn red and will attack us. So we'll obviously have to defend ourselves if that's the case. Uh, but I'm going to carry on and try and soothe another four spirits. So that was um, very easy. <clears throat> I think probably for the first time ever uh, I had every single one of the six agitated spirits calm after I played them the drums. So I can only assume that my drumming is improving compared to how it used to be. So with six agitated spirits now calmed we need to head back to Bloodhoof Village. So I'm going to take this route instead just to show you the path that goes down to the main route between Bloodhoof and 
Thunder Bluff. Of course, if you stick to the paths, you're much less likely to run into a mob. Less likely to be attacked, so it's a little safer. But the routes take a little longer. I will cut the corner here. So there you can see that the route um, that you would take. We're going to head all the way down here back into Bloodhoof over the bridge. So here we are back in Bloodhoof Village. We've come obviously a longer route than we took, but it just shows you both uh, both of the routes. And we're looking for Armo Thunderhorn again, who is standing by the main totem just here. And we've got a choice of loot. How may I aid you? So we're going to get the chest guard of the beating drum, restless gloves, or Worn ceremonial tomahawk, and that is the restless earth. Goodbye.